In our video about diamond hands, I mentioned that our co-founder, Nico, likes to buy high and sell low, somewhat as a joke. Another thing that you guys need to know about Nico is that he browses YouTube often, much like any of us, but his recommendations are very interesting compared to mine. He doesn't use an ad blocker or have YouTube premium, so he often tells me about these types of ads that he sees. The number one advertisement he always mentions is the Crypto.com credit card and their slogan. He'll repeat their slogan whenever we're doing anything, almost like the famous Ty Lopez is here in my garage ad. So we got curious if it's played everywhere, it means that they're making money, and we wanted to know how. Welcome to Whiteboard Crypto, the number one YouTube channel for crypto education, and here we explain the topics of the cryptocurrency world using analogies, stories, and examples so that you can easily understand them. In this video, we are going to explain what a crypto debit card is, how they work, and if you should consider one. Also, very importantly, before we start this video, we want to mention that this is not a sponsored video in any way. We just simply want to explain what crypto debit cards are and how they work. In fact, we are currently only sponsored by you guys. We haven't even been monetized by YouTube yet, but when we do, that will be one of our main methods of monetization for this channel. So moving on, how do crypto debit cards work? Well, in the first portion of this video, we are going to explain exactly how the Crypto.com card works, because it is the most widely used card. Then, we are going to explain the next step for crypto debit cards to clear the runway for massive crypto adoption. So, when you sign up for a Crypto.com debit card, they will ask for a little bit more personal information than what they've already asked you for, and then they will send the card to you. Obviously, first you have to activate it, and then the next major step is to fund it. Right now, there are two options to fund it. Option number one is to connect a bank account and then fund it through that bank account. For example, you could add $100, and now you would have $100 loaded onto that Crypto.com debit card to spend almost wherever you want. Option number two is to sell some of the cryptocurrency that you have on your Crypto.com wallet app. So maybe you're walking down the street and you see an interesting store and you see some stuff at that store that you want to buy. Well, you check your account and there's $4 left in your Crypto.com debit account. So what you need to do is sell some Ethereum in your account immediately and then move those funds from your crypto account to your debit card account. And since Crypto.com facilitates both your crypto wallet and your crypto card, they can make this transaction much faster than the time it would take to sell your ETH on something like Coinbase, transfer it to your bank account, and then spend it. Now, this works very well as a way to actually use crypto as a currency, and it's actually legal, meaning Crypto.com has gone through all the loopholes and filled out all the paperwork that they need to for the US government to say, you can do that. However, this process does require some work from you. You must check the account balance often, and you must keep the balance high enough to afford your transactions. The next step to mass adoption after this is to make cryptocurrency transactions seamless. In short, these card companies could create a system where you swipe your card and then immediately some of the crypto that is in your account is automatically sold at market price and then the proceeds of that sale go to paying the person whoever it is you're paying. Let's say you want to go and buy a new whiteboard crypto sticker or a t-shirt. <laughs> That's just a little teaser for you guys. And for this video's purpose, you decide to use your new crypto debit card. While our online store actually doesn't accept cryptocurrency just yet, it does take debit payments. And at this point, you pick out your favorite shirt and type in your crypto debit information. On your end, the site will run your information and then give you a receipt. But when the site ran the card, the processing company behind the screen reached out to your card's crypto wallet, calculated how much crypto it needed to sell for you, then it sold it, and then used those dollars to spend on our site for the t-shirt. That company then converted the crypto you had into regular fiat currency and delivered it to the company that produces our shirts. This way, you are spending crypto, but the company is getting paid in United States dollars. So in reality, the crypto debit card is essentially doing two things for you at once. They are selling your crypto for cash immediately on the spot, and they are also using that cash to pay the seller. Now, before crypto debit cards, you would have to do all of this yourself. You would have to sell Ethereum in Coinbase, transfer it to your bank account, and then pay. This process could take days. Crypto.com has already been beating this method because you can simply sell your crypto on their platform and then transfer it to your card account in a few minutes. Even more so, the method that we just described where the crypto is sold and then used to pay the seller automatically would be almost instantly. These are the stepping stones in truly paying with Bitcoin or Ethereum. Let's get into the next part of the video, which is when you ask the question, <laughs> is it safe? 
Well, for us to answer, it's hard to say. We think if you stick to the big card companies, you'll definitely reduce your risk. Now, it's a good idea to assume that the crypto world is a wild, wild west, because at the moment, anything can happen. We've seen many reports of CEOs running off with their clients' cryptocurrency or even disappearing for good, but the card itself, in our research, has been seemingly safe. Now, personally, I wouldn't hold hundreds of thousands of dollars on that card, since the company does have access to your private keys, and whoever issued you the card is who you will have to trust to keep them safe. In terms of safety, one of the downfalls of using a cryptocurrency debit card is that you are spending in cryptocurrencies. There are many hodlers out there that believe you should never sell. Well, if the market just took a 20% tank and you buy a cup of coffee using your crypto debit card, technically, you've just locked in those losses. Another question you might be asking is why would you use a crypto debit card versus a regular fiat card? If you're like us, you probably don't really want to spend your crypto anywhere. However, many people who are serious about using crypto as a true currency are excited about actually being able to buy everyday things with the crypto that they have. Another situation is maybe that you're a miner and you want to deposit your mining rewards into your card balance. Either way, the purpose of a crypto card is to tell big companies and data organizations we are ready to use cryptocurrencies as actual currencies. Another benefit is that some of these crypto cards have crazy benefits. For example, there are a few levels to the Crypto.com card, specifically their Obsidian card gives out a free reimbursed month of Netflix, Amazon Prime, Spotify, and a few other services as an incentive to get you to stay. Again, we are not sponsored. There's just a lot of money flowing into the cryptocurrency universe. The last thing I want to mention is taxes, because something worth mentioning before we end the video is taxes. Undoubtedly, the IRS wants their fair share, and right now they are treating cryptocurrencies as property. So you will pay long-term and short-term capital gains on your sales or trading of cryptocurrencies. This means whenever you sell your crypto or trade it, you owe taxes. This also means whenever you use a crypto debit card to pay for something, you are essentially selling that crypto and thus immediately creating a taxable event. This does not happen with cash or regular debit cards. So it's definitely something to keep in mind. So overall, crypto debit cards are a great piece of technology that allows us to use cryptocurrencies every day for the purposes that they were created for. Even though it may take a few years, we are already seeing the progression of all of these coins and tokens. So you better sit down, buckle up, and learn so that you can be on the safe side. As we end this video, we want to thank you guys so much for watching our video. We hope that you have enjoyed it. We really hope that you've learned something. And most of all, we hope that you stick around to our next video.